because, well, rockets, uh, NASA rockets burn in space, and that kind of contradicts what I found in that video. Ladies and gentlemen, please calm down. And so I'm going to be burning some rocket candy. This is a mixture of sugar, potassium nitrate, and iron oxide. This is used in amateur rockets because the ingredients are readily available and the amount of uh, thrust it produces is quite high. So let's light this on fire and see how it does. So this is in Earth atmosphere. As you can see, it burns rather rapidly, producing a little bit of thrust even. As you can see towards the end, it moved it around. So now let's try it inside of a vacuum. No ignition. That's interesting. I did see some little poofs as it tried to burn, but it was unable to sustain itself. So even when it's in one solid piece, it can't chain and continue burning. So I've let a little bit more air back into the chamber. Let's see if it'll burn now. That's a no-go on burn. Wait, wait. It's kind of smoldering. And it's out. While testing a myth that a gun can't go bang in a vacuum, Adam and Jamie took a tangent into the realm of rocket science. There is a theory floating out there that a solid fuel rocket won't work in space. But now that we have this big vacuum chamber, we can totally test that out. These bottle rockets are in fact solid fuel rockets with a little bit of powder inside. Now, rockets, uh, bottle rockets go bang. They go bang because of a little bit of extra explosive at the tip, but all I had to do was cut that off, see how much shorter it is than its brother, and it won't go bang, it'll actually just shoot. So here is my rocket. Ready, watch this. This should push the car forward, right? Action, reaction. Ta-da! If that works in the vacuum, then we might have busted another myth in this episode. What are the odds? Minus 10, 9, 8, 7. Rocket firing in a vacuum in. 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition. Lift off. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> it happened so fast I wasn't looking. Yeah. But it took off and hit the other end of our chamber. It worked. Solid rockets work in a vacuum. There's since I did the video on burning things in a vacuum chamber, or rather finding out that things can't burn if there's no external pressure supplied, a lot of people have been wanting me to determine whether or not model rocket engines can burn inside a vacuum. Because, well, rockets, uh, NASA rockets burn in space, and that kind of contradicts what I found in that video. Because, well, rockets, uh, NASA rockets burn in space, and that kind of contradicts what I found in that video. So. Let's try it out and see what it takes to get some rockets to actually burn in a vacuum. It's a little bit of a crummy day, but weather's fine inside the chamber. So here's my setup. As you can see, I've got a wooden dowel stuck into a jar with some lead shot to help uh, get it as a nice base. I've got this wooden plank, which is on a pivot, and there's the rocket motors rotating around, and ah, uh, the rain is picking up. Uh, there, now I've added a tarp. So you can see the uh, rocket motors here are taped to the ends of the stick, and uh, when I set these off using the igniter that comes with them. So I'll just have this in there and I'll run an electric current through it and this should take off and burn. Anyway, uh, now that we're under vacuum, let's uh, plug it in and see what happens. Let's turn off the pump here. All right. In three, two, one. Well, I didn't hear anything happen. Doesn't mean nothing did, because maybe the sound was completely blocked. Seven. Rocket firing in a vacuum in. Three, two, one, zero. Hey! <laughs> Alrighty. 
Should be able to lift the lid now. It doesn't look like it burned. Still in the same spot and the igniter hasn't moved. Let's uh, turn this camera off. Let's see that igniter. It got hot, it burned, but the rocket did not ignite. Let's pull it off of there. Looks like something burned in there, but it didn't ignite and push itself around the chamber. How about that? So the igniter fired, but the rocket failed to burn or produce thrust. And you might have noticed that I didn't use the little plastic plugs that come with the motor. Now let's try it with the plug in place. So let's stick this in there, and let's insert the plug. And for good measure, I've added some glue over top of the plug. So, now that I've confined it, let's see how it does. The bombs you feel are asteroids smashing into the hull of this ship. Also, we're flying without a navigational system and can't oh, seem to change course. Miss, are you telling us absolutely everything? Honestly, I was expecting it to work that time, but I guess it makes sense. This motor is not designed to run in a vacuum. This is designed for sea level or you know, atmospheric use. You see, the uh, pressure is released far too quickly, and the gunpowder gun inside can't sustain a burn. You see, the uh, pressure is released far too quickly, and the gunpowder gun inside can't sustain a burn. Uh, NASA rockets burn in space and that kind of contradicts what I found in that video. So what I need to do is figure out a way to keep the pressure up long enough for the gunpowder to get going and start pressurizing itself. So this is what I've come up with. I have sealed everything inside of a little plastic bottle as you can see. The igniter and everything's inside. Now hopefully the air pressure around the motor will stay high enough long enough for the motor to fully ignite and then hopefully this uh, little hot glue plug will actually blow out and allow the rocket to continue. The back end of the bottle's burned off. Looks like it was successful. So there you go. Rocket motors can produce just as much thrust, if not a little bit more, in vacuum as they can in air. Because they're not pushing against the air, they are pushing against the fuel that is being burned and thrown overboard. Now the rocket was difficult to ignite in a vacuum because it needed some pressure to get the fuel grain to burn, but once I did that, it did just fine. And since I was able to figure it out, I'm sure the folks at NASA can do it. And since I was able to figure it out, I'm sure the folks at NASA can do it. I'm sure the folks at NASA can do it. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>